tutorial. Welcome back to Hackgood. In this video, we're tackling the problem insert interval. This problem requires us to insert a new interval into a list of non overlapping intervals while merging any overlapping intervals. Let's dive in. So, here, given question is you are given an array of non overlapping intervals, intervals where intervals of i, start of i, end of i, where each represent the start and end of the ith interval, and the intervals is sorted in the ascending order by start of i. You are also given an interval, new interval is equal to start and end that represents the start and end of the another interval. So insert the new interval into the interval such that intervals is still in ascending order ordered by short of i and, and the interval still doesn't have any overlapping intervals that is merge overlapping intervals if necessary. So return the intervals after the insertion. So note you don't, you don't need to modify intervals in place you can make a new array and return it. So this problem presents us with a scenario where we need to insert a new interval into the list of non-overlapping intervals and matching any overlapping intervals in the process. So this problem tests our ability to manipulate interval data structures while maintaining the integrity. So let's see the examples. So here given intervals are 1, 3, 6, 9 and the new interval to insert is 2, comma 5. So on seeing this 1, 3 and 2, 5 overlap right. So uh, we take the min of the start time and the max of the end time to cover both intervals and that's why the output is 1, comma 5 and uh, like other interval is 6 comma 9 because this done overlap with new interval or like these three don't overlap. So the example 2 we have these intervals given and the new interval is 4 comma 8. The output we got is this one 1 2 uh, 3 10 and 12 16. Why? Because the new interval 4 comma 8 overlaps with the uh, 3 5 6 7 and 8 and so we take the extremes. So 3 comma 10 are the extremes of this to cover the, all these three. So we got this one in between and 12 16 doesn't overlap so we keep it as is. Uh, so constraints, intervals length is in the inclusive range of 0 to 10 power 4 and the intervals uh, like each element uh, length is 2 and uh, the start of i and end of i in, are in the inclusive range of 0 to 10 power 5. So intervals are sorted by start of i in ascending order. So intervals length is 2 and we have same like uh, the new intervals uh, start and end are in the inclusive range of 0 to 10 power 5. So, so let's look at the approach. The approach is going to be the sorting and merging approach. So the algorithm is like First, we need to start with the empty list called a merge to store the final list of the intervals of the insertion and possible merging. And then uh, we traverse the list of intervals and add intervals to the merge uh, that end before new interval. So that is, we need to check the end time of the interval which we are currently iterating over with the new interval start time. So if that uh, it is less than that new interval start time, then we can add it to the result set. So next is merging overlapping intervals. So for each interval that overlaps with a new interval, that is like we need to check uh, the start time of the interval is less than the end time of the new interval. We can update the start and end of the new interval. And then next you to add the merge interval. So basically after processing any possible overlaps, we need to add the merge new interval to the merge list. And then uh, we just need to add remaining intervals. So just append the rest of the intervals that start of the new uh, interval to be merged. So let's look at the dry run here. So initially we start with the given intervals that is 1, 3 and 6, 9 here and then uh, we need to add the new interval 2, 5. So we can start the merging process now. So we, we, we see that the 2, 5 is overlapping with the 1, 3. So we just take the extremes 1 and 5 that is min of start time and max of the end time so 1, 5. So next is we have 6, 9. We check if the 6, 9 overlaps with the whatever we have. So it doesn't overlap. So we just written the interval like we get the final intervals now that is 1, 5, 1, 6, 9. So this is the final output. Let's see the timeline uh, thing here to just give you a uh, good understanding here. So we have the intervals given is 1, 3 and 6, 9. So but uh, we have the new interval is 2, 5. But these two are overlapping right. So we just take the min of the start time and max of the end time to cover the both intervals. So uh, we have 1, 5 now. And then we have 6, 9 which doesn't overlap so keep it as is. So let's look into the code here. So we start with uh, having the merge list initialized. So this is for basically the result purpose. And then we have a I variable i is equal to 0. This is for uh, tracking of the indexes of the intervals which we are uh, going through. Uh, and then uh, we uh, the next thing is to uh, add all the intervals ending before the new interval starts. So the, how do we do that? So we just check if the uh, this is a base condition right for the loop to go on. So the i should be less than the uh, length of the intervals. So the index should be length of uh, so the index should be less than the length of the intervals. And then we need to check if the current interval which we are considering uh, is uh, like 
coming before the given new interval so how do we check that we check if the end time of the current interval is less than the short time of the new interval so that's how uh, we have here i comma 1 what is i i is 0 right 0 th index like 0th interval we are taking and then we taking in that interval we have short and end so the end time is picked by using 1 so that's why we are picking the 1 here and then we are checking the end time of the current interval is less than the short time of the new interval if that is the case we just append it we don't need to check anything because it's not overlapping intervals we just append it and then we increment the count of the index and then we do process all these loops and then we exit of the loop once this condition breaks so second thing now basically if the condition breaks like uh, we have there should be all like the two there will be two cases uh, one is like there is no overlap and all are processed and second case is overlap so there is overlap then we need to merge the overlap intervals to consider the, the new interval right so that's why uh, we have it here uh, and same check here i less than the length of the new intervals and then since we have the overlap here uh, we have to consider the like uh, intervals which like whose start time is less than or equal to the new intervals end time so as we discussed we just form the start time and end time uh, based on extremes so here the uh, for the new interval we, start, we modify the start time to the min of the new interval and the start time of the interval which is overlapping that's why we have taken it, uh, i comma zero to take consider the short time of this interval and uh, similarly the end time is also we take the max of the new interval and the uh, current interval which is overlapping we just we just increment the loop variable here and then we proceed over the loop and then uh, we have all this uh, overlapping things cleared and then we have to uh, append this union of the intervals which we merge to the list that's why we do merge dot append new interval Be because we are not merging uh, because we are not doing any any sort of appending here we are just forming our new interval based on the overlapping and then we have to append it to the merge list here so here after that we need to add uh, all the rest of the things so while i less than the length of the intervals we just keep an appending because these do not overlap with the new interval and uh, after that we just return it time complexity is often because we iterate to the given list of intervals once and then the operations within the each iteration uh, that is comparing and possibly merging the intervals or constant time operations making the entire process linear in terms of number of intervals the next is space complexity which is often for storing the merged intervals demo in conclusion so i've got the code ready here let's try submitting this so it almost reached 90 percent of the users with python so good solution conclusion this problem requires a careful handling of interval merging and insertion keep practicing and exploring the different scenarios to enhance your problem solving skills Thank you for joining this episode of Hacker. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and problems on tips. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below and like share and happy coding.